All right, folks, we'll get uh, this meeting underway. Sorry we started a little bit late, just kind of due to the weather. I know it's hard to get here. This is kind of a tough time, so I apologize for starting a little bit later, but uh, it's 6.15. Please continue to eat. If you need to get up at any time, please feel free. We have lots of food, and um, it is there for you. So <laughs> item one on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. Hopefully everybody got the minutes from last time. So. But, um, Will anybody make a motion to approve the minutes from last time? Mr. Sheldon, anybody Aye. second? Second, Jeff Chandler, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Awesome, thank you so much, cool. Uh, appreciate you being here. Um, Assistant Chief Hale, the rest of the folks from DPD. The intent for today is what we're going to do is we're going to present you with our community engagement strategic plan. So this strategic plan was created by the Bakersfield Police Department. Um, we'll talk about some of the reference material, some of the things that we took into consideration when uh, coming up with this plan and kind of what we, how we intend to use the plan and so forth. Uh, we will hand out, um, actually, if you guys don't have a copy, we'll get it handed out to you now, a copy of the actual strategic plan draft form that's gonna be officially submitted to you as part of the stipulated agreement. Um, this is one of the things that we are required to do. So this is, uh, this is a condensed version. The, pro, the presentation I'm hoping is gonna take around 15 to 20 minutes. My intent and my objective after that is to uh, allow you to ask any kind of questions. And then we talked about last meeting is how now are we going to start working through doing some of the work on the things that we're submitting to you and the projects that we're submitting to you. But now moving forward, we're actually getting into the nuts and bolts of the work. Created the culture, established kind of the rules, the norms that we're gonna work within as a group. Um, the mechanisms and platforms that we can share information with you and now kind of today kind of getting into some of that work. So, um, question, has everybody been sent the Google Docs information or link to be able to join them? Yes? Okay. So my intent is and our plan is, is after the meeting today is tomorrow, you guys will have all the source documents that we use to create the strategic plan so you can re reference those and come back and then provide us with recommendations. My hope today is that after the presentation, after we have some general questions, comments um, about this specific um, section of what we're doing, is that you will break up in groups or develop subcommittees, however you guys want to do that. We talked about last meeting how you guys can wanted to kind of take control of setting up those working groups and then start working through some of the logistics of how you guys want to come up to or provide recommendations amongst the group and then come up with a timeline of when we, the MVPD, can receive some of the recommendations and what would be appropriate for you guys to kind of digest the material and provide us some recommendations on what you think um, needs to be added to or, or any general um, requests or comments from there. Fair enough? Okay. Cool. Awesome. So with that being said, we're going to kind of dive into this. So the Community Engagement Strategic Plan sections 127 to I believe 132 of the stipulated agreement are the uh, sections that reference the community relations, kind of not the community relations agreement, but how we community police, how we actually do our directed engagement, how we um, make contact, how we help build relationships, trust, transparency, all those things are kind of encapsulated within that section. There are other areas out there throughout the stipulated agreement that cover that as well, but this is kind of the, one of the sections specific to community relations. So, as we've talked about before, our Bakersfield Police Department has a community relations unit where pretty much what we do is strictly engaging, um, trying to help listen. Kind of the community policing is an overall police department philosophy, but we're one of the mechanisms that are actually going out, um, interacting with and trying to take the concerns that the community has and meet people where they're at. Try to help educate, but also receive information on what we can do better, how we can do things better, and so forth. So this strategic plan kind of outlines four overall arching goals that we think moving forward um, will help not just fulfill some of the recommendations of the stipulated agreement, but go beyond those, because one of the things we want to do is we want to not just meet it, we want to exceed it. So some of the things that we referenced was the Bakersfield Monitor's Year One Annual Report. Um, the Bakersfield Police Department Community Collaborative recommendations that were provided, the final report of the President's Task Force on 21st Century Policing, and of course the stipulated agreement. 
Uh, we did review and, and took some information in consideration to the uh, San Francisco Police Department's community engagement strategic plan and took some of the references from there as well on things that they did that we um, thought worked well to try to help create ours. Again, this was created by us in conjunction with a lot of different uh, reference material and information from community members. Our hope is that you guys as well as the community advisory panel will help provide some of those recommendations that you think the community and feel the community uh, would benefit from to kind of overall to build that trust, transparency, and that ability for people to feel safe in the community. So strategic goals, we have four goals that are listed in this plan. The first goal is strengthen community connections. We have eight objectives within that specific goal. Uh, two is educate and involve our community in the training of police personnel. We have two objectives listed for that. And three, we have create, excuse me, create, promote, and enhance focus prevention and intervention programs for, uh, for youth. Three objectives listed under that goal. And then fourth, engage the community advisory panel, which is yourselves, and utilize community surveys and other feedback tools. So getting as, gathering as much information as we can to try to help drive what we're doing. When we talked about the spider tech or the community engagement platform um, last month, really trying to take that data and then put it to work. Take the data that the monitors um, team survey is doing and how we actually put that into implementation and actually make it so um, we're actually driving some of the goals based off what our community is saying. So goal one, strengthen community connections. So we're gonna go through briefly um, the eight objectives we have listed in there. There's one is broaden our community meeting effort. Two, um, conduct more unprompted face-to-face -face contacts. Three, develop community feedback portals. Four, directed engagement with our minority communities. Five, utilize all communication channels and strategies to engage with the entire community in a timely manner. Six, increase transparency of data, policies, and procedures. Increase positive engagement with the community. Eight, include BPD personnel throughout different ranks and assignments to participate in community meetings and events. So for each one of the objectives, as you look through the plan, we'll have what our key objectives are and some of the ways that we're looking to measure to see if those are successful or not. One of the hopes that we um, are gonna task you with or ask you to, to provide us is, are, some, are those goals what you think are in line with what the community wants, needs, and desires? And are the, what we're asking to measure is that information that we think or you think would be valuable for us to know to see whether or not we're succeeding in that. Goal two. Educate and involve the community in the training of police personnel. So with objective one is having community members participate in, in our police academy instruction and our in-service training. In-service training is once officers become police officers, we are constantly undergoing um, training on a variety of topics throughout the entirety of our career. And then two, provide forums and trainings to teach community members and groups BPD processes, laws, and policies. So general understanding of the police department and laws and processes and policies. Goal three, create, promote, and enhance youth focused prevention and intervention programs. With objective one is to continue to grow our junior police academy. Two, partner with our police activities league to identify and enhance mentorship programs for the youth. And then three, work with community organizations to develop youth diversion programs. And then our fourth and final goal is to engage the community advisory panel and utilize community surveys and other feedback tools. With objective one is uh, utilizing CAP to review community engagement strategies and provide feedback. Not just today, but as we continue to work as a group to provide a safer um, Bakersfield, um, this will be a kind of a continual thing once this plan um, has been finalized and um, put into practice. And then objective two is obtaining community feedback through surveys. So not just spider tech or community engagement platform, um, but the monitor surveys, and they were here a couple of weeks ago, I think maybe last week actually doing an additional survey on people that we had arrested. So get, getting all that information that they're making possible through the uh, reports that they're producing and look up, looking at that data information and then driving what we're doing. Does anybody need a copy of the, anybody else? Yes, sir. You need a copy? Two? Okay. I want to be very conscientious of time, 
I don't want to have meetings just for the sake of having meetings, and I don't want to take up time just for the sake of having time. We value your time, we value your commitment to making us better, and we value your commitment to the community. Um, and I think this is going to be an interesting meeting as far as now we're starting to establish some of the working norms of how do we engage, right? How do you then as a group start to work through who's going to do what, how are we going to do it, and then what kind of processes are we going to have to report back to us the things that, that we need, yeah? Yes, ma'am. No. And generally speaking, so that kind of, I just, that was a brief overview. Um, there's more information on the actual draft itself. I'm, we're open to questions um, or comments in general, but my hope is that as we break up here shortly into <coughs> subcommittees or however you all would like to divide yourselves, that you start to work on providing those recommendations because what we want to do is get the feedback from you and figure out, okay, is this something that we want implemented to our plan? And if so, you know, are we going to do it or are we not? I appreciate that, and I don't think we're necessarily not opposed to potentially looking at our mission statement and potentially coming up with another one. Um, that's something I think that we could probably possibly entertain at another time. I think kind of focusing on this would be a good direction to start, and as we start working through this, that's definitely something we can put on uh, the agenda maybe for the future and see if that's something that we that anybody else is able to do officially. Yes, ma'am. I don't know who discusses in the smaller group, but I'm just curious. I mean, this is. Speaking, I think this is a really good kind of introduction of the ideas of how we want to, you know, uh, really improve community engagement. But I'm just thinking about like the the actual actions, uh, specifically guided by the stipulated judgment. Like when will we even have a chance to provide input on like what is the final report policy, for example, or you know, so stuff like that. So um, maybe that maybe that is the afternoon we're going to talk about it. Exactly of what are the action items under each of these goals? Yeah. So one of the things that you will get, and I'm sure most of you, if, if, not, if you haven't read the stipulated agreement yet, you have access to it. And also listed in the monitor's um, year one report, it lists not just every segment of the stipulated agreement, but um, action items too, or the things that we have to do to fulfill that requirement um, and to look for those. So the strategic plan was designed to try to help on um, just the community engagement strategic plan. This isn't an overall Bakersfield Police Department strategic plan. This is just focused on the area of engaging our community, being proactive um, on, on that segment of it. So this is not a, a whole strategic plan for the organization. Um, and if I'm, if I'm listening to your question right, um, as it relates to like, use of force and those types of things? Or just, you know, this is the, a plan to engage the community on the stipulated judgment requirement. Yes. And so I'm just curious of like, uh, maybe that is what the work group is gonna you know, discuss and finalize, but I, I guess like at what point does it make sense to And I love that question. And one of the things that I would, I would hope that as we grow, if you have specific ideas that meet one of those objectives, because yeah, we, we don't just want to meet with people that enjoy everything about us, right? We want to talk to people that maybe have had negative experiences or even a perception of negative um, experiences from other people and have those kind of conversations. So for example, I invited everybody to our community event tomorrow that we're partnering with a local uh, community policing organization up on um, Baker Street. Did everybody get that? Yeah, or at least I think I talked about it last meeting. And those types of meetings are help designed for community members to come out and engage with officers who actually work in those areas to try to have some of those conversations. 
Um, is that a catch-all or is that going to fulfill everything? No. My hopes is that you as the panel, uh, who are representatives of the community, can take the concerns that you have from your sphere of influences and bring that back to help drive our different policy decision making and, and where we need to go as a community. Because you're our mouthpiece and our information is kind of connected to the community, so that's what we're hoping for. So hopefully that answered that question. And I think as we get moving along, I think some of those things will kind of naturally work themselves out. So are you saying there's a meeting that's going to happen on Baker Street to see if the community come and talk to you? No, it's, it's a community event. So we've partnered with a community organization. We have many different partnerships. Um, Ms. Stiles is one of them, and, and Ms. Passante is part of the other. And it's designed to have community members who live in the community, this specific zone, interact with officers who work in that general area. We're providing food, and it's just general discussion to have conversations. We had another one uh, last year. Um, in the metro zone of Compassion Christian, it was awesome. It's a, it's a low key environment with not a lot of, um, there's no real agenda other than just having some conversation and for officers to hear directly from community members, of, what are your concerns? So remember we talked about community policing is knowing what the community wants. Um, and it's not always what we think is important. It's what the community wants to hear important. So having that direct contact with the officers um, to have those kind of conversations, and that's what it's designed to do. It was on our social media, um, but we will get it up on our, on our website as well. I know we put it on social media, we send it up to the media, but whether the local media decides to put that up, that's, that's on to them as well. Yeah. If anybody needs it, I can send you the flyers. We have them in both English and Spanish, I'd be more happy to see them to you guys. 5.30 to 7.30. Tomorrow. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, could you tell me about the goal two? Like, how you guys are gonna be educate the goal two? Let's go with the goal two. Yeah. So, could you tell me explain how it's gonna work? Can we call you or invite you in our community so you can train how it's gonna work to get goal two? Yeah. So we have a training academy and we have our training division that oversees all the training of our personnel. And, we, and if you think that you can provide information that you think we value for whatever topic it may be, I would encourage you to let me know. Or if you know somebody who's talented or gifted or has this information, let us know and we'll see if we can't work you into that. So curriculum. if we gathering over there in our community, you guys can come over there to train something, that kind of you can we, we can do that too. Do so one of our bread and butter programs is Neighborhood Watch. Okay. It's getting out and helping educate the community on getting to know their neighbors, what resources they need from police department, how we can help. Mm -hmm. So this kind of goal is designed in training of police personnel. So getting people who have maybe a different perspective of law enforcement, who have maybe been affected by certain situations in the past to come in and talk to our police officers. Our, our academy graduates on Thursday. So there'll be 20 brand new police officers that are starting the streets in a couple of weeks. I bring somebody, I teach a two hour block on leadership and character development, and I bring someone from the community to come in and talk to these young officers to get a, a perspective from, from somebody from the community. And it kind of helps them, and I think it's good for, for interactions and good for officers to understand it's not just always about law enforcement people who need to be trained. And the second thing, so do you guys have any arrangement you can do the Punjabi, like in the Punjabi language? So if anything, that you guys show up and they don't speak, and you guys have anything? Absolutely, yeah. We have some Punjabi officers who are fluent, and they have family members. We can definitely make and sure that that's... Survey, uh, the survey, when you guys send the survey, I think it's coming to the English and the Spanish, right? Not in Punjabi. I'm working on that. So, with regard to the survey from Spider Tech, or the community that you get when you call the police department. Yes. So I had a meeting last week with Spider Tech because remember initially it was just English and Spanish. We are now working to get our top five languages with a link that's clickable that will take you to the specific top five languages that we have. So that's in the works right now. Yeah. So that's our focus tonight in the agenda and the building. Thank you. So the focus, what I want to do, is get out of your way. Yes. I want to get out of here. You're tired of hearing me. You're tired of seeing me, probably. Um, I'm not tired of talking. Um, but I want to get out of I want to start getting some work done. Yeah? I want you guys as a group to self govern yourselves. And I, we have some uh, pads up here. We move these things down and figure out amongst yourselves how many groups do you want to break into. And I want you to start figuring out one, what do we need to do as far as reviewing this? And this doesn't have to be done here today, but figure out what logistically do you need to get the work done to figure out what kind of recommendations or how you guys want to do this policy, or this, excuse me, not this policy, but this strategic plan. Um, and then another one would be, when would be a reasonable time or uh, expectation of time for us as an organization for you guys to be able to look at it, evaluate it, provide your recommendations so we can have a time to when we can say, okay, 
uh, that working draft, that was recommendation was provided to us, and then we can start to digest them and figure out, is that in line, and is that something, um, and what were the recommendations we would be able to pay for now? So I think those would be kind of the big things, but I think, too, just kind of figuring out how do we want these groups to work? Because moving forward, as we get into some of our, uh, I don't want to say major policies, but our use of force policies and canine policies and those types of things, um, how we break those things down and how you, the group, works amongst each other, I think is going to be super valued in being efficient and how we get things done and timely because we want, and I think most people here, we want to get stuff done. We're here to work. So I want to provide you any resources that you need, but I don't want to be in your way. So at this point in time, if you guys are good with this, I'm going to step back. If you guys want to figure out amongst yourselves how you want to break up, you can break them up into subgroups. If you want to have people who are leading, um, T? Do you, how do you guys want to do it? Does anybody need anything from me right now at this point? Okay. Okay. We will be here. Uh, any, any questions that you have, let us know. And then maybe, how is 30 minutes to regroup? There's 30 minutes enough time for you guys as a group to kind of figure out some of those things we just talked about and then come back as a group and work through that? We'll know in 30 minutes. 705 is the maximum? 705? Yeah. Well, I, mean, do you, I mean, do you want some, some conversation started on the strategic plan, or do you want us to figure out how we're going to work in that group? I would say that's up to you guys. We, we want, I, it seems to me that, no offense, but it seems to me we have to come up with a structure. To me, yeah. We can't comment. I don't feel qualified to comment on any of this yet because I just got the material. What we need to do is we need to figure out how we're going to address, it seems to me, we need to figure out how we're going to address these objectives, how we're going to design ourselves to do that. So I think that's what he's asking us to do independently, right. is to break each other, break into groups, we're grown, we're old enough, just get into a group of three or four, four or five, no more than five, look at this plan, read through it, go over the objectives, identify some areas, uh, I get it, we, we're not going to have all of those done tonight, but get an idea, get some of those questions out of, I have a question, like he had a question on, um, on what we know too and so forth. What does that look like to you when you're reading through the strategic plan? What does it look like to you? That's all they're really asking. And then provide that feedback. And then we're going to keep going deeper and deeper into the understanding and building out the strategic plan. So my concern is there's there's four objectives, or there's four goals with all the objectives. And if all of us are spending time on all of them, then we're not going to get anywhere. So we have two years. We have what? Sorry. We have two years. Yeah. 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 Some of the groups have, uh, some of the goals have more objectives yeah. than the other, but yeah. I think that would be fine. My goal, so for a group is a four. Can we turn off a four? We're doing that. Are we accepting these four goals as the four goals? There should be some discussion about whether we should come up with other goals. I, but I think once we, we actually start honing in each goal, we will have more questions on whether it makes sense to add additional. But I, I, I mean, <laughs> and, I, and I recognize, folks, that you don't have any of the source documents yet, which we provided for you tomorrow, to actually get in and actually figure that out. Yeah. Can, can I suggest that um, we give ourselves until 7 o'clock to, because there are four goals and there are four corners of the room, that that be goal number one, goal number two, goal number three, goal number four, put a post-it note up on the wall over there, and then we can do an initial 
initial evaluation of each goal and then come back to the group maybe one minute per group just to kind of give some initial feedback about how it's working and if we want to change anything at 7 o'clock. <coughs> I'm hearing is we need to have the right system in place as we start to move forward on getting information and then you guys a group figuring out okay how do we then communicate amongst our group to figure out what we're going to get done and, and how we're going to re review it um, yeah, I agree and, and having the data to back it up I agree with you Lori as well is that we all have experiences things that we we know um, and things that we want to see take place those should hopefully be in line with some of the things, but I, I agree with, with all of you. So how do we then now come to a determination on how do we move forward with the strategic plan you have in place to give you what you need so you can butcher it up, combine them, hey, maybe we move this, that, whatever. I, I, we want this to be a community document. This is gonna be a forward-facing document that's available to the community once it's done, but we want your input. How do we go about doing that? How do you guys do that? How can I help? How can the chief help you do that? And working through that now, as I said, because this is that point where moving forward, um, we want to have a good system in place. Are we all okay with like the goal that we are trying? Can, can we establish that we want to keep in a smaller work group and really focus or hone in on each of the goals? Or do we want a, a different version? I think we all have answer and input to every goal. I don't think everybody's just going to be, even though you may be working on one goal, some of us may have answer and input that we think would be valuable on that goal or this goal. I think that's what Lori was saying. Yeah. I think I like what exactly you said. So we agree that you can stay in your, your home, where you're comfortable at. But if you want to offer suggestions, ideas, recommendations, or remove anything outside of your own particular group, you have the freedom to do so. And then once we have all of the comments and recommendations, ideas, the, the collaboration of collective data that you heard Greg provide in the morning, because I get what the group three is saying that we don't know behind all of this, right? So once we get everyone, then we come together as a group, as a community, and say this is where we're at, starting here, these are all the ideas, these are all the comments, these are all the suggestions on goal one with eight objectives that now is probably reduced down to four with explanation why, and then we can jump to each one, each one, but we gotta, we gotta find a structure because yeah. this is where we are chasing our own tail right now. This is what I can tell you. And so we're just going around in circles and circles. But if we can agree with everyone where they're at, and then two, everyone has the freedom to view other people's, uh, other goals and offer their input. Can we start there before we start expanding even further? Just have some type of structure. Can I add to that? Are we good? Uh, well, <laughs> 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 um, as to the freedom part, I, I like it. But I do imagine the situation 
situation where people might have the freedom to go to the place they want to go, but not know that somebody else needs help. So in addition to having the freedom to go, encouraging everybody to ask for help if they feel like they need more input on their side. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So what you like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
five more minutes and then we're going to bring it back. Bring it back to the... So, um, the group over there, how do we feel about moving forward? Do we have, were you guys able to wrap your heads around some ideas on how you're going to move forward as a group, how we're going to move forward to the collective of providing recommendations to us? Um, some thoughts? Any group? Then you, got, you guys, everyone kind of went back. Did you guys just continue to go through that specific, because um, I know a couple people jumped over, because this one was actually larger. Um, how do you? Uh, here's, here's where uh, I'm at, and maybe other people are similar. One of the struggles we had over there, and I heard over here as well, is um, I don't think anyone disagrees with any necessarily written, but it's a good document that feels good, but we don't know how it relates to each other. And so, 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 of course we can engage in communities with this, of course we can engage in communities with this, but how does this respond directly to the stipulated judgment, right, and, and why we explore in terms of what power of the document is, and we 
Yeah. And so tomorrow, when, when you guys get the document, part of the, uh, you guys have the stipulated agreement, but part of the year one report, list the community engagement sections, and also specify in the email that by battle myself will send out to say these are the sections that relate to um, the stipulated agreement as it pertains to community engagement, uh, community policing, those types of things. And you can reference those and look at the specific measures that the monitor said, okay, this is what the stipulated agreement says, this is what we're looking for. And then you can compare that to the plan based off what your groups have. Yeah. So I, I agree, like that, that's, and that's one of the main points. So when we created this, a lot of that was, was taken into the stipulated agreement. But I agree, you, would, you should wanna see it, right? You should wanna compare it and make sure that it's there. And maybe there are things that we could add to it. Rosa said something that um, kind of resonated with me, just talking about like the perspective that she brings. So like, I, the wanting to see that source document and what, what each goal is referencing, but also, is it, I just wanna be clear, like do you want also, in addition to like improving the community or using our community voice, like that lens to also be looking at the document and making recommendations? If you think there's value to it. If you think that you have a recommendation that would improve the community, improve the police department, improve relations, then, then bring it up to us. You know, we think that these goals are the four most important goals, but maybe maybe they're not. Maybe you as a community think that there are different goals that we should be adhering to. Maybe these documents aren't the best documents to refer to. And again, utilizing what you guys, your experiences, um, your voice in the community to provide us with that feedback. No? Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, we'll move forward. Uh, tomorrow you'll have all those documents. What is a good time line for you guys as a group to be able to digest those, look at them as you, amongst your groups, and then provide some recommendations? I know that's very broad. Instance, but do you guys, what do you guys feel or believe would be a good timeline to put on this project? How many documents is it? When's our next meeting? April 11th is the next meeting. That's about a month. Yes, ma'am. Are we expected to meet on five staff or every next You guys can meet as you. As you, as you please, I think a lot of probably the communication I would anticipate would be in the box, online, communication, and those types of things. Um, but I don't want to dictate how necessarily you guys decide to do it. What do you guys think is best? Would the expectation be that you know we work individually in our groups, whatever our process is, and then at the next meeting we debrief and we share? Yeah. Would that be useful? Yeah, I think if we each have that, like about that one month time to work within our work group, and then if you, you know, add to the other groups if you want to, but, and then bring back those recommendations, but we can also <coughs> have a live active document that we will all be working off, that we can all read up and, and add on to if we want to, but I think by next meeting we should be able to. If we meet at least once or twice within our work. So what a good expectation, uh, expectation for the group be is that the next meeting, April 11th, that you guys as a group would have some information and material ready to provide us recommendations. Is that fair? Yeah, if there's a question, you guys have on the back, very back page of that, uh, the draft of the strategic plan, my number's on there, my email's on there, you can reach out to me. And the way I envision it moving forward, and the different presenters, if you have questions, we'll find contact methods for you to get in touch with them so you can have your questions answered, so absolutely. The last thing I want, and that we want, is to have this project held up because you have questions, so we'll definitely get those to you. Or that's directly to my bed, and we'll get it to me. But you have my direct contact, contact information also. Um, when IDs confer with folks about receiving the Google Doc and having access to it, you know, to be able to edit it, there's still a lot of work in the degree that it needs to happen for everybody to have access to it. Can I ask that, like, the immediate next step be for you to um, get everybody an email um, with access to that? Um, and you have to have a Gmail where you did email address. The BP has a 
So does anybody not have a Google Doc or a Google support or a Gmail support and email? I know there's one person that had a Yahoo. And, or has anybody tried the, tried the, the link and, and just made sure if it, if it works or not? Yes, sir. I have a Gmail account and I'm fairly good with tech. I can't get into the regions. That's why I ask other people. Update your email, get with Karina, please, and just let her know, and she'll she'll document that. We'll do a, a test run tomorrow, and hopefully, if you, if you don't, if you, we'll send it out. If you don't, you can't let it turn something. Just get back to Babette or myself, and we'll we'll do whatever we got to do on an individual basis to get that squared away. We want you guys to have access to get to get to work on. Okay. Anything else as it relates to that? As it relates to this kind of moving forward. Who's Karina? This lady right here. Okay. Or you put other on there. What are we, we going to talk about with other? Um, I just wanted to, because this is the first time we've actually worked on a substantive writing um, as a group, I wanted to know um, if people had thoughts about um, how we should um, continue to do that moving forward. And it sounds like the conversation you just had is that there's going to be an asynchronous opportunity to give feedback on a unified document um, and that we're going to review any additional materials that people have asked for tonight that you're going to send that out to everybody like this week we're going to review those materials and provide all of our feedback on the documents we review tonight by april 11th but actually probably by the end of this month to be honest um, to set a deadline to get a chance of that um, so that we can review it and then um, and then on april 11th Presumably, we're going to be looking at the stipulated judgment, the text of the stipulated judgment, to know how to answer the questions that people have about what this working ground is. Do I have that right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, the next thing on the agenda was uh, the next meeting dates, future topics, obviously, April 11th. Um, we were up. Hoping to, I didn't know how this was going to work because I think it's kind of unknown when we get a group together how to work through some things where it's complex. Um, we were hoping to have canines by April 11th, but that's probably not going to be the case. The last thing we want to do is overburden or put so much on the plate where we're not, um, we're just so pushed so hard to get stuff done. So we'll probably push canines back. So April 11th, the follow up meeting that we have will be something where we're reviewing this, getting the recommendations, and then starting to move. So um, I know people have talked about, and we, there's been some concerns, or not concerns, but wanting to move location places. Please let us, let me know if you know of a location place that's, or a different location that we can move from here um, that can facilitate and those types of things. I'm open. You text me, call me, email me, and we can um, move, move forward from there. But we'll send out an invite here probably in the next couple of weeks to reserve that date on all this calendar um, for wherever that may be. Yes, ma'am. On the policy that we start with, um, is there, is there, I guess, I'm sure you guys are aware there's a uh, proposed bill on canines, and so I'm wondering, like, if, if there will, if any of that will change whatever policy we discuss at this time. Um, so I'm wondering if we can maybe hold off on starting off with canine and starting off with another policy that you guys are currently um, actively reviewing. I don't know where you guys are at with, like, I know the massive one is use of force, but I think that's a big one there. Yeah. I don't know where you guys are with, with that with the following team, but other policies may have a stipulated judgment, then we can prioritize and maybe we'll, uh, we'll have um, a stipulated judgment. Yeah. 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 Good, good question. I don
answer for you, but uh, we'll get back to you on it. Okay. okay, we'll find out. Can you please make a note of that? Because I know those things, those things cost a lot of money, and to get a get to get sixty some odd or hundred odd, it would be a little bit pricey. So, we'll kill some trees initially, but I think it'll go a long way towards like we'll end up annotating it. You know, we're going to and really working. But this came up in, our, in the other group and number one that we were talking. If we do have a summary version of that, mm -hmm. if you can share that, because yeah. nonetheless. That, that's a quick read, and then you can dive into the main dive. Oh, yeah. 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 We all already have access to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We need a visual. I would give us a Reddit. I'm just curious. I would have a Reddit. Yeah, do we fully understand it? I haven't done a class on it or anything. I don't know if you're not doing a class on it. But, but, but I do think, you know, to the point of having you as the police department giving us the points in that that relate to these four goals will be really helpful. Yes. Because then we have a, oh, this is what you're thinking. And we may agree or disagree, but at least we're starting from an understanding of, of the genesis of, the, of why you're there, mm -hmm. which I think then allows us to think, oh, okay, or wait a second, what about this part? Um, so I think, what, I think what, when you do that, that's gonna be really helpful and really, Help us to move forward. So, thanks for getting that done. For sure. And I, 
simulated agreement if you don't have it is online. We can print out copies um, and we'll be sent out to you guys again tomorrow because again that's one of the source reference. Maybe you have one or two copies here. Absolutely. All right. Anything else? I say that in a positive way, not like anything else. So, are we good? Yeah, we have a plan moving forward. Got some things to, I got some things to do to provide you. Um, we'll get those to you. I appreciate everybody's time today and the ability to work as a group. I know, I think this hopefully was a foundation of, like I said, kind of getting, getting things worked out logistically so we can start moving into some other areas. Uh, if there's no questions, I'll, we'll stick around. If anybody needs anything, thank you so much. Appreciate you. I don't know how much extra pizza we have, but please grab a slice or two. Thank you. Is this anyone's hand? Yes. Yeah. It's mine.